Hi, and how are you? And welcome to another in the series of the um, Zentangle Inspired Art. Um, today, I'm going to show you how, again, I'm in the Great Zentangle book. And, and if you have the book, it's on page 72. It's called the Herz, Herzlebe, H-E-R-Z-L-B-E-E. -E. And that is the designer is Bet Winkler. And she is a Zentangle, uh, a Zentangle teacher from Germany. So I'm thinking this might be a German word. Okay, and um, and she says the world needs more heart. So I created this tangle. I like flowers a lot, and strangely enough, the idea for this tangle was born when I saw a beautiful necklace on a woman riding the Zurich tram, and spontaneously took a picture. And so that's what inspired her to make this tangle. So I'm going to work on the tangle now myself. Um, I did, let me see, I was playing with it yesterday. And, I, and, and it's right in here. It's right in here. And I just tangled around it. I am learning so much. I'm having so much fun tangling around. So see, I've got three of them right here. But then I tangled around. We're going to be doing more tangling around our um, our things as we go along here, because I don't plan on quitting Zentangle ever. And so, so I'm going to show you how now we got going on this one. And we start. I'll make one right here, where I'll just make one. And this is where we we start. We make a heart. Yep, right there where you can't see it. I make a heart, and then below it, we're going to make another heart upside down. Unless you turn the book around, then it wouldn't be okay. And then I would, I'm going to go here and make another heart here, and then I'm going to put one here. And they don't have to be like exactly. They you just this is Zentangle style art, and it's um, stress free. So you just do the best you can. And then I'm gonna make another one here. So I end up with six hearts. And I'm thinking if you have more than that, I don't think it would make a difference. It would make just a different flower. So then once I have those six hearts done, as you can see, mine aren't really, really well, but they're done. I'm going to go and I'm going to make a circle. And that circle goes behind. As you can see, I um, drew the circle, but not over the heart part. And then I'm going to go with another one, a little bigger circle. And there we go. It, as you can see, it kind of looks like the circle is actually behind the hearts. Okay, and then what we want to do is give each one of our hearts a little bit of a a little bit of a, a little vine in there, a little vein maybe, because the hearts are petals of flowers. So just put a little vein in each one of those. Okay, and now we're going to um, make our align around the whole thing. So I'm going to, to do our R align, we're just going to go like this. And you're just kind of going around the whole perimeter of the, um, of the hearts of your flower. And there it is. That might be the echo line. I don't. I get mixed up with the echo and the aura. And so, and um, and and then 
this is actually the whole thing right here. That's actually the whole thing. But then what you can do, yes, Papa? Yeah, would you put that with the other two boxes that are on the counter? Okay, thank you. Um, Papa's saving me boxes because I want to cut tags out of them. Now, so that's basically it. And then you can take from that and you can start, um, you, you can take from, try to get this a little bit better. My book needs to be here, and I need to move the camera a little bit somehow if I can. How come it wants to be all heavy wampus now? Excuse me, of a, a close your eyes a minute while I fix this. Try to fix this. Okay, there. That's a little bit better. Now, okay, now is when you can start. Um, you can, I'll go around, I'm going to go around again. I'm going to give it another, another aura line around. And then I'm going to, um, and then I'll do another um, circle. I'm going to go in here and do another circle. You can do as many circles as you want, actually, when you're on the inside. So I've got three circles in there. And I did two of the little, um, the auras around. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make another Another hers will be right here. I'm going to go like this. So I'll have my heart. And then go to the one below. <coughs> and put two in between there. And then two in between here. And then I'm going to go with my lines, my circles, the circles that are going to go behind. And I'm going to just stick with two circles here. So it looks like a band that's running behind the petals of that flower. And then I'm going to go and do the or a line around the entire thing. I'm trying to take my time because if I do take my time, it actually comes out better. And then I'm going to do another R line. But as you can see, this is already touching this one. So when I do that second R line, I'm going to have to tuck it under. See? So I'm tucking it under there, under that one that's already made. And and then go around, continue around. So it looks like they're layered now. That one, this one is tucked underneath this one. I'm going to go again with another. I'm going to make a third one. And so, and I'm going to get that heart really close. And see how this goes. Little, I say a heart, but it's the petal of the flower. Oopsie. And then, oh, I forgot to give these guys a little vein in there. I'm going to give them little petals of them, heart flowers. Okay, now I'm going to make my, I don't know, I really got this one kind of small, but I'm putting my, my circles behind. 
Um, and then I'm going to aura it. Now, see, already my heart is close by. So, let me give her a hit there, big old veins. Okay, now, so I'll start out here, and I'm going to make my, go with my um, aura line around. And then it's going to tuck behind that flower. And then I'm going to give it another aura line, which I just copy the line that I did before. And see, it's really good and tucked underneath that other flower now. And so that's, that's three of them put together. And as you can see, you'll, you can get them really close <laughs> and layered because you start with the little heart shape, which is the petal of the flower. And so this one too, I think would be so pretty. Like if I would say, if I color the band that goes underneath maybe and color those and the, or, or just maybe color the hearts one color. And this one would be really, really pretty colored too. And, and then, and, and, and see, now you would start, it, that's basically, the hers will be there, but then you can then start um, adding different um, tangles that we have already learned. And so here, like I just put in that shape right there. And I am really hooked on the piano keyboard lately. I love the keyboard. And so I would, um, I think I've put the keyboard into so many of my um, tango collages lately because I just love it. I just love it. But then I like the over under. Um, one too that would go good in here. Which we did yesterday. Did I get it in that book? This one. We did this yesterday. It's called the De Sus De Sus. We did this one yesterday. Which is looks like the, the rope wrapped around. Uh, pipe. I did mine like a little snake. And then I had one of, in one of the comments, somebody told me that this means over under. De sus de sus means over under. And so thank you for that. I love being taught new things. And so then that makes sense because it does look like it's going over and under in the finished thing. And so that, that one makes a really good border too. And that one would go good here as well. And so I'm going to put the piano keyboard here, but I'm just going to put in the keys. I'm not going to actually color the whole thing in right now because I want to show you again something else of my keys are not even even. They're not even very even. But when I color them, I can even them up because all these keys that I'm drawing in right here will be black. They'll be the black keys. So I put two keys, leave a space, and then put three keys, leave a space, and then put and alternate the two and the three keys, just like it is on a piano. There's three, so right here I need two. And then three. And then two. And then three. Okay, I'll color them in later and put the lines in. But then I'll then then we have this space right here this space right here. You can take another tangle and you can use, you can go in 
in and fill that in. And what I'm going to put in is I'm going to put the floors, F-L-O-R-Z, I think this is the way that one was spelled, which I'm going to go down with just lines. And I'm going to make like a checkerboard that will just fit right in here. Okay, just fit it in there. See how I just put those lines down like that? And they just go from the underneath of this to the top of these frizzle bees that I just put in there. And then I'm going to go and put a line across this way. And I'm making it kind of curved, not as curved as the um, piano keyboard, but it curved. And just you'll just go and fit it in, fit it wherever it'll fit. See, so it looks like it's tucked under. It looks like it's tucked right underneath the um, those flowers. And so then on the floors, what we do is we just take all the intersections of the lines and we just color those in like with a diamond. on just all the intersections of where those lines intersect. And I think this is a really pretty uh, fill in. This is a fun one for filling in. A lot of the um, grid pattern, the grid patterns that we've learned that are made on a grid all work this well on a fill-in, if you're filling in a, a odd shape, a different shape. And it almost looks like maybe it should only be done on a square, but it can be done in any, any shape. And I think it really makes a nice, and then see when I'm, Onto the side here, I can't put the whole di diamond in there, but I just put that partial one in here. Same thing down here, right where that line it, it intersects. Now, see, I can see where it's going to intersect here. And so I just get that little diamond in there. And if you, this one is just going to be the top of the diamond. And then here on the side, nope, there's no diamond there because that's um, that's not um, the intersection. It's not the end. It's not the end. So I won't put one there. And then here, yep, yeah, we're going to put one right here. So where you can see kind of like it's tucked underneath there. It all looks tucked. Neatly tucked. See there? So then, oops, we got to put this one right here. And I think that is a really neat, it almost looks like it's a net. Like there's a net there and it's in between. It just connects these two together. And so I will work on this one. Um, and... Well, I see because I saw my keys, I got them a lot longer than the others or shorter or fatter or skinnier. And then so when I'm filling them in, I can kind of adjust that a little bit. But see, now all of these ones, if you didn't see the original video where I showed the keyboard, um, then... And this is the way I did that. And then from the bottom of each of the black keys, just put a, um, a straight line to the bottom edge. And then in between each set of keys, then you put one line. And then that's how you make the white keys. That's where you see the white keys show up. And um, 
And so this is a fun one to do. This is one that you can really, it's, you know, when you're patterning like this, when, when you're doing something like this, you can get right into that Zen mode. That Zen mode just eats you alive. It's just perfect. And so I won't take up any more time with that. I'll finish that off, off camera. The, the basic thing is I wanted to show you today was the Herzl bee, and which is this flower, which is so simple to make. And yours might not turn out exactly like this. Like I said, this has got six, because I go by this book here. I, I This is probably the greatest Zentangle book. It's wonderful that it's called the Great Zentangle book. But I put a link to my Amazon affiliate link um, below the video that you can see where this book is. But I put a separate um, link just to this book. So if you, um, hopefully that link works too. But if, if you're going to buy any book of Zentangle book, I would, this is the one that I would, that I would um, suggest because it really, like it'll show you step by step one of the tangles, but then it'll show you a variation of how something else you can do with the, uh, the tangle. And then it'll show you even idea of how you can put the tangles together to make a collage of different tangles. And they do that with each one of these, um, each one of these different tangles that it teaches you. And it's got 101 patterns in this book. And so this is the one that, this is my go-to book. I love this book. And, um, and it was written by Bet Winkler's Certified St. Tangle Teacher and Friends. So there's different people that have um, added their knowledge to that book. And that's the one that I use right now. There is good books out there, and there might be even more that I don't even know about yet. But I'm trying not to um, purchase more books. I'm trying to use what I learn online as well because there is so much online as well to learn. And I don't want, I want you to know that I am not a certified Zentangle teacher. I am a certified Zentangle learner. I am a learning these things and I just do love it. And once you start putting the tangles together like this, you are really, it's just so beautiful, so beautiful. And so, and, and so then that, that's it. That's my story for today. What you see is what you get. I believe, I believe that is going to be the end of my video soon as I read one of these little quotes in this book. And I'm going to try to, um, I, I, lo I love to take my books that has got quotes and stuff in them. I like to just open them. Just open that book. And um, that is what I feel like I need to hear today. So this one says, believe in doing good. No, believe in doing great work. The key is to trust your heart to move where your unique talents can flourish. This old world will really spin when work becomes a joyous expression of the soul. And that is so true. That was written by Al Sako Sakharov. Al Sakharov. And, and a lot of people, they call their works of art, you know, their work, it's work. It, it, that is just what it's called. It's work of art. And, but, um, you know, when I think about work, I think about washing dishes and scrubbing the floor and that's work to me. To me, this isn't work. This is playing. This is enjoying. This is bliss. It's just amazing. And so, but it is, it is when, when you do any kind of art, it is a work of art. And so, with that, I'm going to let you go so you can play with this and keep drawing. And I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and bring you safely and happy back to the next video.
God bless, and we'll see you again.